right guys, so I got my camera, I got my 50 millimeter lens on here, I've got my setup over here. I want to kind of pan in closer to see how I've got this set up. They basically have the imaginary line going straight up this way, so I make my setup based on that because I'm going to take my pictures at a vertical. So there's the setup. And you can see my light and the board, which I'm going to be moving around here in a second. But I'm going to take my pictures. Can you see me? I'm going to take my pictures vertical. All right. So I have to stand over there. And then I'm going to turn off the lights, which is probably going to make things a little bit weird. So you can see what all I'm doing. You might want to stand back a little bit so you can see me and this and the pictures. So I've got my setup ready. And I'm going to start taking some pictures here so you can see how far away I'm standing when I do this. So this is where I generally stand for a little bit of my wider shots where you can see more of what's on the table, not as much of the basic details. I'm constantly checking and rechecking my settings, which I have um, my ISO set to 400, my aperture is set to 3.5, and my shutter speed is set to uh, 1 40th. And that's generally how I get my best pictures, but I can sometimes vary between a shutter speed of uh, 1 30th and 1 60th. It just depends what angle I'm coming at and where I have my light at. Pizza is kind of a bad example because I'm not really going to move the pizza around like I would um, other stuff just because it, it's so big and it takes up so much space in the frame already. I'm constantly adjusting and readjusting my focus to make sure that it's accurate and also because my lens hates me. Slips out of focus pretty easily for me. And I took ten tons of pictures, pretty much in the same spot. And I'll get closer and turn my body on this one. show you um, about how close you can get before you're too close. I can get to about this close before I'm too close and it gets blurry again. So right about here is the closest I can get and I'm focusing on this piece of basil right here. So right about there. As close as I can get. overhead shots. I'm going to be looking at my butt here for a minute. Enjoy the view. <laughs> because uh, because you have such a, uh, a 
fixed frame on this. You can't, you gotta contort your body to be able to get these shots. A lot of times when I'm doing overheads, I have to adjust my shutter speed because it tends to be too bright. Kind of go through, trick back, make sure my stuff's in focus. And I'm getting some pretty good shots here. But you'll see once I have the post live how these photos came out. And I think. We are good here. I'll give you a sample. Let's see if we can see that on here. Okay, so let's see if you can grab this. What? Down here. Can you see it? This is from the very beginning when I first started taking the pictures. And there's my close ups. And then from overhead. And then back down to the table. It's a different one. So, yep, there you have it, guys. Hopefully that helps. Oh, and here, take a look at my settings. Take a look at my settings. Oops. Okay. See, so here is my shutter speed right here. 150th. I have it set on manual mode. There's my aperture at 3.5 and right there is my ISO at 400 um, and I do have my white balance set to natural light because even though I'm using um, a tabletop display the lights are supposed to be um, consistent with natural lighting so voila there you go peace out